Welcome back to California Cooking. This episode is all about an American classic, burgers. First, I'm taking you to a Michelin star restaurant that is said to have one of the best burgers in town. And then on my menu, I'm grilling up a lamb burger with a cool cucumber condiment. And then I'm trying out a viral trend that combines two of my favorite things, burgers and tacos. The modern French bistro Camphor received a Michelin star less than a year after opening. The executive chefs became friends overseas and now their partnership has resulted in one of the best new restaurants in LA. And wait till you see their burger. Hi, chefs. Hi. How are you? I'm good. How good. Are you? I'm good. I'm good. I'm happy to be here. And it's cool because this the arts district downtown is kind of like this hidden little path to get to this place. And then you come in here and it's so kind of chic. And the idea is what? The idea is a French kind of bistro, but yeah. much more than that. You should feel like you're kind of traveling, like you're not in LA anymore. There's a really kind of fun story about how you guys met and ended up here, right? Yeah. Okay, talk talk me through how you two met. In 2019, uh, we bought this, um, got an opportunity to work while in the gas restaurant in Bangkok, okay. uh, which is called Blue Ballon de Gas. Um, now we have one Michelin star restaurant. Okay, uh, Alain Ducasse, Alain which, Ducasse, which is a big name in the culinary world. Yeah, yes. <laughs> right, yeah. So French train, and then met in Bangkok. Yeah. Um, and then how did you guys end up in Los Angeles together? Well, Bangkok, they shut down the city like, oh, like three times. Um, for so COVID? For COVID. Okay. We were just getting kind of restless. Uh, our contracts are ending. And I have a business back here in LA. So I was like, oh, I'll probably just go back home. Yeah. I spent but, almost like more um, nine, 10 plus years in the Middle East and Asia. Yeah. So I just wanted to be, you know, to see something Try else. Try something. Right. Yeah. But this was home for you. This LA, LA is home for okay. me. Okay. And then Cyrus, uh, one of the owners of this place, yeah. was talking to me in, during the pandemic. He was like, oh, do you know any chefs, cooks I can come into this space? And I was like, I got the guy. Like, <laughs> you know, if you yeah. can make right. it work, like, he's willing to come and take over the spot. But then when he was coming over, he was like, you know what? I've never worked in the US before. I don't know who to call, like suppliers, yeah. all these things. Like, Right, I mean, it's a whole, yeah. yeah, that's challenging. He's like, you gotta do this with me. I was like, okay. Did you guys have the same vision for the restaurant? Well, we kind of broke it down to like, what what did we want most? Like, what, will, what did we crave? during the whole pandemic. That was what like, did you want to eat? Or like, what did we want to experience? Because okay. when he went home before moving here, he went home for like three months. Yeah. He set up all- And where is home? Oh, so I born and raised in uh, South India. Okay. Called Kerala. Okay. Yeah. So he set up a connection with all these farmers in a 60 kilometer radius of his home. And we got all of our spices from them. So instead of using for this purpose for this yeah. restaurant, yeah, just in this one restaurant, yeah. you have the hookup. Yeah. <laughs> oh my god! So it made it taste a little different. The menu then, and you, I love how you described the menu as wacky, but wacky got you guys Michelin stuff. We didn't know what to expect. No. Uh, we've always worked in restaurants that had Michelin stars or strive for Michelin stars, but when we came here, we just we said like, let's just cook good food, uh, simple. Just all for the great hospitality yeah. for the people. That's yeah. it. That was the first aim, but everything came out. So now we're happy. The reason why we're here today too is the burger that you guys do. I, I, there's a whole backstory to the burger. Initially, it wasn't on the menu. Yeah. And then the guy who owns Cyrus yeah. said, I'm here all the time. I'd love a burger. And yeah. so you guys went to work and created this yeah, crazy he was like, good burger. I just want to eat a really good burger. <laughs> and then we were like, oh, I don't know how to like, because like everyone in LA, all these restaurants, they have really good burgers. Like I eat a good burger, most of these restaurants we go to. Right. I'm like, I don't know how to make a burger different right now. So we were like, okay, let's make a croc monsieur. Yeah. And we did a really fancy croc monsieur. <laughs> and he was like, it's really it's good, but it's not a burger. <laughs> nice try. And so we kept like doing all these, striving away. And then uh, one day he wanted to do duck. Yeah. So this duck dish. Okay. And then we had all these legs. Okay. Let's just grind. Well, yeah. A dirger, like a turducken at Thanksgiving. Yeah. Okay. Let's just grind it up, put it up with all the meat scraps. 
I, we have like a dinner roll that we have yeah. on hand. Yeah. So we just replaced the fat, the butter in there with duck fat. What has the reaction been? Like you said, great burgers all over LA. Yeah. What's been the reaction to this burger? People have been loving it. It's it's a full meal, like you come right? in. Because like a lot of people that are used to camper, you try so many different things and it becomes maybe like a two and a half hour meal, yeah. which is amazing for like date nights and all these things. Sure. But some people like locals, they want to come here and just eat at the bar. So now they get a juicy burger, and fries, three dipping sauces. Oh, those are them. Tell me, talk to me about these beauties. Okay, so this is uh, dry aged um, beef. Yes. Um, uh, we use uh, um, brisket, we use ribeye, um, a little bit of part of ribeye, a little bit of fat, and a 50% of the duck meat. And then the duck meat. Yeah. Salt, pepper. Salt, pepper, I just seasoned. Yeah. Now what happens? So now we're going to put a little bit of the remoulade. Which you said it has a bunch of ingredients. It's a lot of, right? a lot of different ingredients. Main ones being um, the tomato gives it the kind of pinkish hue. Yeah. We have capers, gherkins, lots of different herbs. Truly uh, a special sauce. Yeah. yeah. And then we have this smoked Gouda cheese. Oh my gosh. We like it because it's round. Yes. And it fits with the French bistro yeah. theme, the smoked Gouda. And then it kind of just, it blocks the whole bottom bun from the juices. We like to pat it off just a little bit more. Okay. Because it's so juicy. Super juicy. We just. Put it on, and then at this point, we have the caramelized onions. Put a little bit of extra sauce, and then we just place it on. <laughs> That's it. The That's burger it. is there. <laughs> that is, it, first of all, it's just, it's like picture perfect. I can't believe I'm saying this. I'm actually enjoying these little anchovies. Yeah. <laughs> these are so good. He kept talking about gunpowder. Gunpowder yeah. seasoning. He yeah, was like, gunpowder seasoning yeah. is a kind of a, um, mix of spices and powders yeah. and lentils. Talk me through the pasta. Was it your wife that inspired the pasta? In the yeah, food? it was. She was saying she wasn't getting full. She was like, <laughs> "You guys need a you carb or a pasta." I like your wife. Yeah. Yeah. So we made a scallop pasta. She likes scallop. They're like little little scallop dumplings. So the sauce is just it's a butter sauce made with chicken stock. Um, a little bit of soy, truffle, and uh, chives. Okay, I'm looking over at someone who's had this before and she's just shaking her head because she knows how I feel, which is just, it's nuts. This is lovely. Tell me what, what's in here. It's a dish made with the lentil, mm -hmm. uh, black and uh, red lentil, cooked in um, lamb stock. This right here, when you pour the sauce, so anyone who loves French onion soup, and I think when you think of any French bistro, you think of French onion soup, but this is definitely a modern take. We just kind of broke it down. There's a layer of French, a uh, layer of caramelized onions yeah. mixed with butter and um, thyme mm -hmm. underneath. And on top is a Comte and Gruyere mixture. And then the soup is caramelized onions with duck. If you could kind of think of the best grilled cheese of your life, it might be this. The burger, you already told us how to make this, but I think to your point, you said how everyone likes to cut a slice. Should yeah. we all share a little bite? Juice is dripping down my chin. Oh my gosh. And really interesting how the duck, the flavor, it's just a different flavor than a regular beef burger. Yeah. And I would never, if you were to give me this and say there's duck in it, I would never have guessed. But you can tell like there's something different. I'm, I feel like so spoiled being here. <laughs> today. Thank you so much. Of course, thank you. The so food much. off the charts. Coming up from duck to lamb, I'm grilling up a Greek inspired burger. Then it's a recipe that's gone viral on social media. I'll let you know if smash burger tacos are worth all the hype. want a variation on the classic. Check out this lamb burger seasoned with paprika, cumin, and garlic topped with a creamy cucumber sauce. Yum. Mm -hmm. 
It is that time of year where it's all about burgers, whether you're grilling outside or indoors, which is what I'm gonna do today. Summertime just makes you want a burger. So for this burger, I'm going to do a little spin on a lamb burger. Maybe you've enjoyed lamb in other ways, but a lamb burger is really yummy uh, because it has a little bit, obviously, of a different taste than beef, and it's the flavors I'm gonna put with it that kind of harken to maybe a Greek style recipe where I've got some cucumber, some Greek yogurt, dill, and then the seasoning I'm gonna put in our lamb, I think is kind of, I don't know, kind of interesting because I'm gonna add a little bit of cinnamon to our lamb meat. So first, we've got our lamb, it's 85-15, so 15% fat. And then I've got some onion powder, garlic powder, and like with ground beef, I normally wouldn't season it for a burger, but for lamb, I wanna add a little something, something to it. Smoked paprika, this is where the cinnamon, little bit of cinnamon, not too much, just a little bit. Some oregano, a good amount of that, salt, pepper, and this would be great on the grill, but I'm gonna do it inside on a grill pan. Mix up the seasoning and let this sit for a second while we make our topping for our burgers. I'm gonna make the topping for my burgers and I've got some cucumbers and the mandolin and I'm just gonna do a thin slice. You could also use a knife, but this is a little faster. But I was thinking, okay, pickles on a burger, why not do kind of a Greek yogurt dill sauce with the cucumbers? So I've got some Greek yogurt, but we're gonna add our cucumbers, some chopped dill, I'm gonna do some lemon zest because I want this to stay thick. So lemon juice would thin it out. I kinda want a thick sauce to go on top of our burger. Salt, pepper, and some garlic. And our cucumber topping is finished. Make our burger patties. And this is just a nice switch if you have people over for burgers or you're needing a little break from beef. They're not perfectly round, but, but close it up. Okay, our burgers ready to go. I've got a really hot grill pan. I want a nice char. I have some oil where I just kind of rubbed it on the grate, but this should produce enough fat that you really don't need much in the way of oil. I'm gonna start with three. Let these go. Okay, time to flip our burgers. Nice grill mark. That's what we want. Perfect. I also have our brioche buns that I'm gonna try to sneak in here where I can get a little bit of grill, get a nice toast on those. Okay, these are almost done, the lamb burgers. Burgers are off the grill. I've got my nice toasted brioche buns. I'm gonna take a lamb patty, a lovely slice of tomato. We've got our cucumbers and dill and garlic in the yogurt. I love all of these flavors. And just because I can't have a burger without fries, I've got some crinkle fries that I put in the air fryer, but we're gonna jazz them up a little. Feta cheese, crumbled on top. I have been to Greek restaurants where they put the crumbled feta on top. And I, I kind of love that idea. Little lemon zest on top. Doctor up your fries. Also a sprinkle of oregano. And then you've got your lamb burger. Gorgeous lemony feta fries. It's burger night. I have to have some ketchup. I want to try these fries. Mm. Mmm, with the feta. I also want to cut my burger in half. This is from Mark Crispy, who says, cut it in half. There it is. Okay. A lamb burger. Give it a try. It's really good. I hope you give it a try. A little something different. Up, it is a smash burger and a taco. That's coming up next. Let's go 
going viral on social media and it happens to combine my two loves, burgers and tacos. So I had to make it. We have all heard about the smash burger by now, which is basically where usually you've got some really thinly sliced onions, you smash the patty on top of the onions and it all cooks together. This, and I've seen it all over the internet, it's the smash burger taco. So it's in a tortilla. And I just loved how it looked and the sound of it because it's right up my alley. I love anything in on, on a tortilla and I love a hamburger. So we'll see how we go. So the first thing, We've got our beef, and you want something with a little more fat when you make a hamburger. So we've got that. Uh, the onion, a regular white onion, and I'm gonna do some thin slices. We've got our onion slices, very thin, so it'll cook quickly. And we've got our cast iron skillet behind me there heating up. Now for the beef, I usually just do salt and pepper on a hamburger, but I think I'm gonna add a little bit of garlic powder and onion powder to this. We'll mix up our beef, and I think I've gotta just go in with the hands. So you want these to be thin, because you're kinda of gonna fold them over like a taco, so you don't want them to be too thick, and you also want them to be relatively the size of your tortilla, so you don't wanna get a big uh, burrito-sized tortilla. I even made mine a little bit smaller using a cutout, or you could use a knife, but thinking a burger, This'll, this'll be a little bit bigger than your burger, but you, you want it to be about the same size. So smash burgers, the whole thing about them being called smash burgers is they're really thin and they're kind of smashed. So I'm going to get a step ahead of that. And, and you were always taught that smashing your burger would smash all the juice out. So I'm going to smash them now before they're cooked. And sometimes you can even use a little dish or something. Okay, let's see. Excellent, very good. When they come off the skillet, I wanna to top them with a sauce. So the sauce I'm gonna do. Every time I serve fries or a burger, I make kind of a fry sauce, burger sauce. For me, it's usually mustard, ketchup, and mayo, all the things you want on your burger, but I mix them up. <laughs> so that's the, only, that's the only hack. The only thing I'm going to add to it is a little bit of sriracha. Mustard equal parts, ketchup and sriracha. Well, not equal parts of sriracha. That would knock your socks off. I also, which I normally don't do, but a little bit of garlic powder, a little bit of onion powder, and maybe, just because I saw it sitting here, some smoked paprika. That's it. We've got our burger sauce. I think we're ready to grill up our burgers. Okay, we got a really hot cast iron skillet, little bit of avocado oil. I've got my very thin onions and I'm going to make two piles of onions. You know what? I just might scatter them all along the bottom. Then on top of those onions, a burger patty. Got room for two. So basically, you want these onions to cook into the meat. High heat, let them go. I'm gonna give these a flip, just a couple of minutes. And then you've got the brown caramelized onions. While the other side is cooking, good old American cheese, two slices. There we go, here's what you do. Cheese slices down, tortilla, tortilla. Let all that come together. Let things melt and then we flip it and get the other side of the tortilla nice and brown. Okay, I'm gonna flip, I think. Cheese has melted, so now you want the underside of that tortilla to cook in all of that yummy, oniony, beefy goodness. And then we're done. Where have smash burger tacos been all my life? Okay, here's the thing. The bottom of the tortilla kind of gets brown and crispy. And I just happen to have these little <laughs> tortilla holders, which I think will be helpful just to show you what I'm going to put on our smash burgers. 
shredded lettuce because to me, you can't have a burger without some shredded lettuce. Some chopped tomato just to make it easier. I do love pickles. Again, this is very personal what a person puts on their hamburger. So knock yourself out. And then, this is gonna be such a mess to eat, but oh my goodness. And then my burger sauce, which is mayo, ketchup, mustard, sriracha. Got some onion powder, some garlic powder. And there's your smash burger taco. Okay, I can't wait to try these. I'm gonna do this. Here goes nothing. Smash burger taco. Look at that, the crispy onions. Oh gosh, it's dripping already. Okay, <laughs> here it goes. Sold. My new favorite. Mm-hmm. For all the recipes from today's show, you can follow us on Instagram at KTLA California Cooking. Well, that does it for us. Thank you guys for watching, and we'll see you next time.